character creator first dropped in 2015, and since then, it has grown into one of the best tools out there for making custom 3D characters and realistic facial animations, down to the tiniest details. Tons of artists as well as studios actually rely on it, and over the years, it's only gotten more powerful. So this year, it is celebrating its 10th anniversary. Reillusion is releasing CC5, or Character Creator 5, which is a massive leap forward, if you just take the time to look it up. We're talking about high-res character workflows, with switchable subdivision, upgraded shaders, and a brand new facial animation system that is honestly really insane. Right off the bat, we will start with the new HD characters and the switchable detail level. Unlike CC4, CC5 HD characters offer up to 16 times more mesh details and offering two more subdivision levels. This not only allows you to work on a wide range of character types, but also makes it ideal for close-up renders for more high-fidelity visuals. Some people might think that more topology means more problems. This is not the case here. You can switch between the detail level as you want, without affecting the workflow. Take for example game developers and real-time applications in general. You can easily switch to a lower detail level, and the software will of course preserve all the details through baking all the necessary textures like diffuse, normals, ambient occlusion, and cavity map. On top of that, for ZBrush artists, the new GoZBrush plugin enables one-to-one -one subdivision transfers for CC5 characters. This is huge, as you can move between detail levels non-destructively and maintain the animation workflow. Another significant update is to the eye mesh and shader system. CC5 introduces hyper-realistic human eyes with high-resolution tear line, in addition to detailed eye duct, concave cornea shader, and attachable eyelashes with a variety of hair growth patterns. Some of the videos they showcase for the new upgrades are literally jaw-dropping, as you can see. Character Creator Workflow allows you to achieve this level of clarity with minimal effort, which is the best thing. On the skin shader side, the illusion is introducing new cavity maps, which enhance the skin details and realism, especially for poor and wrinkled details, along with up to 8K skin textures for free base characters and upcoming HD character content. Lastly, on this point, the new introduction of displacement map support is being introduced. Unlike normal maps, which are fake details, height maps offer true depth details. This workflow uses a non destructive pass to apply the displacement, which maintains the base geometry, ensuring smooth transfer and sculpting between CC5 and ZBrush. The third update is about facial animations. With this release, a revamped HD expression profile is introduced, with each expression now driving a great number of facial morphs, which means that the expression is gonna be more realistic, responsive, and more importantly, precise. These expressions can work for both realistic shaders, as well as stylized and cartoonish characters. All you need in Character Creator is to retarget everything correctly, and the workflow is basically the same for any character type, or even creature. Another long-needed update is the new constraint system. Have you ever looked at a motion-captured animation and thought, I can't really put my finger on it, but it looks weird. The mouth is opening way too much, or maybe the lips are distorted in some way. If so, then these new constraints are perfect for you. What these constraints do is simply define a range where expressions anatomically should move, like a range. This will prevent all those problems and keep your facial animations from looking uncanny. You know what I'm talking about. Another standout feature when it comes to animation is the new nonlinear facial animation system. It uses curve-based controls to simulate more natural, non-uniform muscle movement. So instead of stiff, mechanical expressions, you will get things like sticky lips, elastic puckers, and brows that actually drop and furrow when the character frowns. It makes facial animation feel way more alive, in addition to being believable. Last but not least, is the new Maya and Marmoset pipeline support, with new auto setup integration. Auto setup for 3ds Max already exists for iClone and Character Creator, but they now expanded this to include Maya and Marmoset toolback, in addition to Unreal Engine and Blender. This streamlines the workflow completely, whether it is animation, 
film or video games. With few clicks, you can now import CC5 characters into the software, totally skipping the manual shader setup and complex material adjustments, which I'm pretty sure no one likes. For Maya, there is also full facial rig, if you want to edit and tweak animation in your preferred environment. At the end, I want to mention that Prelusion launched an exclusive pre-launch offer from now until the release of CC5, which is gonna be in July. So people who purchase any bundle that includes CC4 in the Reillusion software store will receive CC5 for free upon release. And I highly recommend the CC4 Plus Headshot 2 bundle to get the CC5 free upgrade, or simply get CC4 now for $99 and upgrade to CC5 for $229 upon its release. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.